Thank you very much. And the next speaker is Mr. Memerakis. Η φετινή έκθεση που συζητάμε σήμερα είναι η χειρότερη για Thank you very much indeed. It is no coincidence that we all agree today because Erdogan's hostile attitude means that he is moving further and further away from Europe. Even before the summit, he was issuing veiled threats. The American president recognized the Armenian genocide and this elicited a very negative reaction. We know what has happened to the he's done about the Istanbul agree, Istanbul Convention. All he's trying to do is pursue a populist strategy. Yet Turkey should be an important partner for the European Union. And we simply cannot give Erdogan the benefit of any more time because he turns around and insults at every possible turn the negotiators, the Europeans, and the accession negotiations could be a valuable tool if we suspend them. Thank you. Thank you very much. The report we are debating today clearly describes the situation. The suspension of accession negotiations and the pursuit of a new relationship with Turkey is the only viable way to deal with Erdogan. We cannot confine ourselves to economic relations alone. The customs union can be reformed, but human rights have to be respected. The sovereign rights of neighboring countries have to be respected. And uh, migratory flows have to be uh, managed properly without uh, using people as, as uh, leverage. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow it will be the 102nd anniversary of the uh, of the genocide uh, which led to the great catastrophe of uh, 1922. The only way to stop these tragedies happening again is to have a... Thank you. And from Milan, on the remote link, we have Mr. Angelo Choc. Thank you very much. I wanted to say this to everyone. We'd like to tell that the, the, the uh, Europeans and Turkey need to improve their situation. Uh, Turkey, in the hands of Erdogan, is a Turkey that's dangerous for Europe. That is uh, linked to the uh, Muslim Brotherhood, which is a terrorist organization at the same time. They are active on the market, and I'm thinking particularly in Libya. Now, I think the Islamist uh, element is an important factor. It's also a link to uh, organized crime and illegal uh, immigration, not only on the Balkan route, but also in the Mediterranean route, in the central Mediterranean. The Turkey-Libya agreement should frighten Europe. We have to stop this mechanism. Libyan uh, members go to Tur sorry, sorry, ministers go to Turkey. They do not go to, to Europe. But uh, I think Turkey could put us in a very difficult position there. Thank you very much indeed. And the next speaker is Tomasz Szep and Piotr Porwa. Szanowni Państwo, zarówno w raporcie, jak i dzisiaj na tej sali padło wiele oskarżeń pod adresem. Thank you very much indeed. We've heard many accusations and criticism is leveled at Turkey. But our partners should not be treated in this way. We need to try to stand back and be somewhat more objective about the situation in Turkey and the wider area because it's a highly complex situation. 
Turkey is a very important partner for the entire Union in terms of stability and security. And if the European Union wants to be an effective player in the Union, then it needs to do so through cooperation with other countries, which necessitates discussing differences of views. Differences of opinion are normal between partners. People have different motivations, but breaking off relations would not have a very positive impact. It, if we are going to have dialogue, then it needs to be dialogue and not confrontation. It needs to be constructive and focused. Thank you. So what? Thank you very much. The next speaker is Francisco José Milan Mon. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to begin by congratulating Mr. Sanchez Amor for his very comprehensive uh, report. Our relations with Turkey are extremely important. It's a candidate country, it's a member of NATO, it's a customs union partner, and plays a key role for Europe. Unfortunately, in the last few years, we have seen a serious deterioration in bilateral relations. Uh, internally, uh, Turkey has been departing from the democratic values that uh, the members of the Council of Europe share. In its external policy, uh, it has uh, got involved in various conflicts, Syria, Libya, Nagorno-Karabakh, Eastern Mediterranean, and so on and so forth. However, we must continue to make efforts and not break off this relationship. Uh, I don't think that confrontation should go above cooperation. Cooperation should come first. We should not confuse Turkey with the authoritarian government of Erdogan. We have to go for a long-term relationship. We mustn't pass the idea to others uh, that uh, um, we want to somehow push Turkey away. Bilateral relations between Turkey and Greece are uh, reopening. There are opportunities uh, for, for talks on a solution to Cyprus. So the, the right approach must be of dialogue and de-escalation, and Turkey too has to make efforts to move further in this direction. Mr. Papadakis is the next speaker. Well, this is not a progress report at all. What we are talking about is a backsliding report on Turkey. There is backsliding on human rights inside Turkey, where there are thousands of prisoners. There has been backsliding when it comes to the Istanbul Convention, backsliding on neighborly relations. And now we're talking about stabilization in the eastern Mediterranean region and the relationship with Cyprus. Well, the Turkish regime, on an everyday basis, has shown that it is distancing itself from European values and it's uh, stamping on uh, human rights. There's also backsliding in the refugee issues. If Turkey is to be our partner, Turkey needs to become a genuinely democratic country and respect neighbours. Thank you very much. And the next speaker is Mr. Lefteris Christoforum. Thank you very much, President. Today we are debating the progress report on Turkey. I think it's clear to us what is at stake. This is a country which has never respected either our values or our institutions. It's a country which on a daily basis violates the law of the sea, human rights, women's rights. It's a country which has essentially been pursuing a policy hostile to Armenia and to the wider Middle East. It's a country which for 47 years has been occupying part of Cyprus, an island which is a member of the European Union. And it has been depriving 200,000 refugees of their rights because they can't return to their homeland. We're talking about a country which has failed to recognize the
genocide of the Greek citizens in the Black Sea in Gezi. And I think that we need to recognize that the 19th of May is actually the day on which we commemorate the genocide of the Pondios, and we should therefore pay tribute to the 450,000 citizens who were assassinated in this genocide. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next speaker is Mr. Paolo Naranjo. It is time to send a clear message to Mr. Erdogan. The European Union is a place of freedom, of democracy, of rule of law, of respect for human rights. We only speak this language, and we cannot accept a behavior far from these values. It is time to Mr. Erdogan to decide what road will follow. Shall we prosper together and work for the well-being of Turkish people and of the European Union and uh, your country's citizens? However, your attitude needs a radical change. Stop illegal and unilateral military actions in Eastern Mediterranean against EU member states. Stop the respecting institutions. How is possible to leave the Istanbul Convention or to limit access to Hagia Sophia? Choose freedom, choose democracy, and we will have negotiations again. Thank you. And what is known here, Lucas Mantel? Thank you. The next speaker is Mr. Lucas Mantel. Mr. President, Commissioner, the world is full of people who have uh, Turkish origins, who are constructive members of their communities. Turkey has many citizens who are constructive members of their society and do not share the actions of their leadership do not condone um, or agree with what their government is doing. The criticism of the European Parliament's report is, of course, directed at the leadership of the country. It says a lot of good things, the report. It criticizes what uh, Turkey is doing in the Middle East, in Libya, in Cyprus, in Greece. We stand on the side of uh, uh, justice and uh, correct uh, neighborly relations. But the report doesn't call for a complete breaking off of accession negotiations. And it doesn't t talk about putting an end to accession aid. No more money to Turkey as an, excessive, as an accession country when it behaves in this way. Uh, so I will not be able to support the report for those omissions, not because uh, President Erdogan is cursing Austria, as he puts it. I can just send out this very clear message to uh, Mr. Erdogan. Uh, a curse says more about the cursor than it says about the cursee. And um, if uh, you look at the political situation in uh, Turkey, I think cooperation will be better than confrontation in the name of all those good, hard-working Turkish citizens. Thank you. The next speaker is... Mr. Peter Van Dalen. President, there's scarcely a country the world over where so many journalists are in prison. The free press doesn't exist in Turkey. Freedom of religion and religious observance doesn't exist there either. Alessandro Branson, the American priest, and what do you think about the Christian book? shop, the people who were condemned and indeed sentenced for murdering the owners were out of prison in a year or two. There is support going to the terrorists of Hamas. I could go on, but you then say that relations between Turkey and the EU should be reset. 
nobody has said that they should be suspended. How is it possible that you don't suspend access in negotiations? He's simply, Erdogan is simply sitting in a school laughing at how divided Europe is. There's only one possible answer, which is Turkey can never be a member of the EU. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. The next speaker is Mr. Manolis Kefalouyanis. Turkey is unfortunately backsliding in all areas. Uh, we see uh, the rule of law and democracy um, and um, individual rights uh, being um, maltreated. Turkey is um, is uh, backsliding on uh, the um, values that we represent, the uh, Istanbul uh, Convention. It's calling into question an international agreement, uh, the Montreal uh, Agreement, that establishes The, the status of the Aegean Islands. So such a country can't be a full member of the European Union, quite simply. Thank you for your attention. The next speaker is Mr. Thomas Tope. President, Commissioner, Foreign Minister, the EU has to be clear when it comes to Turkey and President Erdogan. Now is not the time to close our eyes for what's been clear to see for a long time. There is a democratic backsliding. The rule of law is being undermined. Turkey is now drilling in the eastern Mediterranean, and that is illegal. The EU has to be resolute in our support to Greece and Cyprus. But at the same time, as we make our criticisms of Turkey clear, Turkey clearly is an important neighbour. The EU and Turkey need to cooperate on important subjects such as migration, security, the economy, energy and the climate. Membership in the EU for Turkey is not on the agenda. But let's build something new instead, where the EU doesn't bow down, but rather stands up and sees the value of cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Kollege Christoph Hansen. Mr. Christoph Hansen, you have the floor. Merci, Monsieur le Président. L'Union européenne est un projet de paix. Thank you very much. The EU is a project of peace and human rights, and indeed, the European Union was awarded the. Human, the uh, Nobel Prize. The Turkish government has withdrawn from the Istanbul Convention and has sought to practice intimidation by deploying warships near our frontiers. These are only a few examples indicating that Erdogan does not subscribe to the fundamental values of the European Union. It's high time we put an end to this hypocritical attitude. It's high time that Erdogan realised what will work and what won't. Obviously, we need to manage the migration crisis. But discussing a customs union with him and accession are simply totally hypocritical, given the reality in which we exist. Thank you. Thank you. And the last speaker... Oh, the last speakers uh, in the debate are the representatives of Council and Commission, so I'll give the floor 